What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with a Kai Ogre and Reggie Draco team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Kai Ogre, this Pokemon pairs up perfectly with Tornadus, and Tornadus also pairs up perfectly with Reggie Draco. So we're gonna have two options next to Tornadus to do big time damage and hopefully grab some wins for you guys. But Kyogre is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. Rock and Drizzle and the Mystic Water as its item and ability. Furthermore, Kyogre's got that Water Terror type with Water Spout, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Protect. A pretty normal moveset for Kyogre. Tornado's going to be the second Pokemon that I want to talk about. Tornado's great for support and it's going to be pairing up with our two stars of today's team. Tornado's got Prankster with the Focus Ash with a pretty standard moveset of Bleak Wind Storm, Rain Dance, Tailwind, and Protect. Third Pokemon, gonna be that Reggie Draco, Dragon Small and Dragon Fang, making it do an insane amount of damage with Dragon moves. Reggie Draco's got Dragon Energy, Draco Meteor, Earth Power, and Protect. Our final three Pokemon on today's team features Cornerstone Ogre Pond, a solid physical attacker, Screamtail, and Indeedee. Indeedee can set the terrain, be good on that support side, and same thing with Screamtail, great support Pokemon, Rocket Disable, Encore Protect, and Dazzling Gleam. Guys, you wanna run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing this Kyogre and Reggie Drago team. Going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex and Gargonackle in match number one. They also have Tornadus, Golden Go, Indeedee, and Rillaboom. So, one thing that I do notice is chances are they cannot change weather, right? Besides maybe Rain Dance with Tornadus, but. We like the rain. We want the rain. So I'm all for the rain. I am going to end up leading my Tornadus. And chances are, I might end up leading my Reggie Draco. Not going to sit here and sugarcoat it. Reggie Draco just might be the play. It might be the play. But they could also lead Shadow Rider Calyrex. That could be a slight little issue for us. Do I just go into Kyogre instead? And just try to get after it? I mean, they could lead Lillaboom. That could be a little bit of an issue. But you know what? I'm going to go right into Reggie Draco. Reggie Draco in with Tornadus. We're going to bring Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, Cornerstone Ogre Pond. We're looking to get after it with that guy. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But it's kind of funny we're going up against Gargonackle in match number one because I actually seen a rental code with him on the team. And I was going to use it today, but I decided not to. I decided to use Kyogre and Reggie Draco. And it's just funny how we're going up against it in match number one. Before their lead, they are going to throw out Tornado Shadow Rider Calyx. I kind of expected that. Not too bad. Um... Hmm, what is my play here, though? I think I have to drop a Tailwind, right? I think I have to drop a Tailwind. I could protect. I could protect here and stagger the Tailwind turns. That wouldn't be bad. So I could just go Bleak Wind Storm here, if they're going to go Tailwind. And maybe, like, protect on you. Could go Steel Terror type. I might just try to get rid of Shadow Rider Calyrex and just double down into it. That is going to be my play. I'm going to double down on Shadow Rider right now. I'm going to double down right into it. We're not even going to pop a Tailwind. We're going to say they pop a Tailwind, they go for Ash or Barrage, and we should be fine because we have the Focus Ash, and Reggie Draco is pretty beefy here as well. So there's that. There's the Ash or Barrage. No big deal. My Pokemon should so. Correct? Correct? Correct, but not really, right? <laughs> Correct, but not really. Correct, but not really. He is going to lose a little bit of HP. Bleak Wind Storm is going to fly here. We do some nice damage. Can we land a Draco Meteor to finish off this Calyrex? And we get a speed drop on the Tornadus. That's good news. Do land a Draco Meteor. Cool. So that's not bad. That's not bad for us. So we get rid of Shadow Rider Calyrex. That was a big part of our play. If we would have just went Tailwind for Tailwind, they would have just outsped us next turn, and it wouldn't have been a good play for us. So that was actually smart for us to use the Focus Ash that turn and just get rid of that Calyrex. So from here, we can now stagger these turns. They are going to go in the Golden Go, and chances are they might just Nasty Plot here. They might just Nasty Plot. It could be tough news for us, but... But, Tornadus is minus one on speed, so if you want to go for Nasty Plot, my Reggie Draco should outspeed, and I should be able to get off a big-time Earth Power. Should be able to get off a big-time Earth Power. So he ends up withdrawing his own Tornadus. We're popping a Tailwind. Might get off some more turns, and Gargonackle's going to come out. Gargi is going to come out here. Tailwind's going to fly for us. We gain some speed. Reggie Draco should go next, correct? Nope, you end up outspeeding, which is no big deal, right? It's not that big of a deal. Your special attack's down dropped. You're probably forced to swap into Tornadus. Gargonackle might terrestrialize, but I have two great Pokemon to really just start getting after this Gargonackle. 
two beautiful Pokemon. Kyogre, place it on the left, and Ogre Pod. We love it. We love it. So I gotta watch out for Gargan Huckle going for Salt Cure. That's a slight issue, but I am just gonna Terrasalize Kyogre, right? I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to. Are you fast? How fast are you, Kyogre? How fast are you? You are 142. You're 132. You could you could potentially outspeed here. I am gonna go into a water spout here. I think this is a solid turn for us. Just go Terra Water Spout. Send it and maybe just double down into this slot, right? I could go for a follow me if I want to. And I think I am gonna go for a follow me. So what are you potentially gonna do? Go for make it rain? And then Kyogre soaks. Yeah, you're minus one. You know, we're just gonna go into a horn leech here. You are probably terrestrialized, and I would think you would be. If not, this water spout's just going to probably KO your Gargonackle. But not a bad first match so far. We're playing really well here. We did exactly what we wanted to do in the first couple turns. Just not Tailwind. And take out the Shadow Rider Calyx. And it's starting to help us out. And of course, I forget about Wyguard. I always do. I forget about Wyguard all the time. Horn Leech still going to fly. Still do a good amount of damage onto Gargi. Um, again, he's sitting minus one with you. But Ogre Pond's going to take big damage. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. And I always forget about Wyguard. You had a crit on my Kyogre, too. That hurts his soul. So he crits my Kyogre. Um, I don't have really anything to get after these guys. This is tough news. Water Spout is going to get blocked. That is tough, dude. I always forget about Wyguard. I don't know what it is. But we start off playing really good. And if I just did not go into that Make It Rain there, we probably could have been thriving here. Huh. How do I want to play this? Thunder? Do we think Thunder can KO Gargi? I hope so. I sure hope so. I'm going to go into a Thunder here. He ends up withdrawing you. He's going to go into... He's going to go into Tornadus. He's going to be forced to go for Tailwind next turn. Hoping that the Thunder could KO. He is, he is going to end up going for Wyguard, which is pretty smart. Just spam Wyguard. Thunder's going to fly. Can this KO? 1 HP. Come on, man. Help me out a little bit. Help me out a little bit. He's now forced to go for a... Uh, He's now forced to go for a Tailwind here. Do I go for Water Spout or do I just attack him? I have to attack him. Go for another Wide Guard, please. I'll go for Ice Beam. Wow, man. He should have been dead. That Gargonaka should have been dead. But I think that swap out for Golden Ghost really the dagger for us. So he ends up popping a Tailwind. No Water Spout. Or no Wide Guard. I should have just went for a Water Spout here. That one hurts the soul. Should have went for the water spout there. Ice Beam's still going to pick up the KO. They're probably just going to go for a salt cure. And that pretty much wraps it up, correct? That pretty much wraps it up. They go for a recover. That's fine. I don't mind the recover. I have to get rid of this, uh... This Golden Go. This Golden Go has to go. This Golden Go has to go. Do I go for a... Water spout here? I think I have to go for a water spout and just hope that he doesn't go for wide guard. I think that's in my best interest, right? Because you're going to be able to soak up whatever you have to offer besides maybe Water Spout. We're going for Water Spout. It's our only way to win. We just got to hope he doesn't go for Wide Guard. And chances are he's probably going to go for Wide Guard. And chances are he probably just KOs me here. Right? He ends up terrestrializing into water this whole time. This whole time he had a nice little Water Terror going. This whole time. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt. Yeah, I figured you had Thunderbolt. And you're probably choice. Makes a lot of sense. But yeah, that first wide guard definitely doing us dirty. We probably would have had the win if they didn't have wide guard. But hey, I just forgot about it. GG sword opponent. Moving on to our second match, and it is time to bounce back. We are going up against a Terrapagos team with Chiyu, Fluttermane, Ogre Pond, Amoongus, and last but not least, they do have Tornado. So we're going to have to match speed here. We're going to have to get after it. And honestly, I might just go Tornadus here because we need this Tailwind speed, right? That is something that we desperately need, especially when going up against Terrapagos and a Tornadus team of their own. So they could lead Fluttermane, they could lead Chiyu, they could lead Tornadus and Terrapagos, they could even lead Amoongus and Terrapagos to try to go for that follow me and just set up all those good stuff. But for us, I think a good lead is going to be Tornadus and, hmm, who else could we end up leading? We could Encore somebody into something. That wouldn't be bad. That would not be bad. 
Nice little encore. Could disable some moves. That's looking pretty good, but I don't want to force it. I really don't want to force it, so I kind of might just go Kyogre here. I might just go Kyogre, but I feel like that's like the obvious lead. So I'm going to go Reggie Draco instead. I'm going to go Kyogre, and I'm going to go Cornerstone Ogre Palm. We're going to go in with the same squad, but with a different mindset. We have to think things out fully, right? Because if we would have thought out fully, like, hey, what's Gargoyle now going to do? Chances are, it would have popped into my mind, hey, this Pokemon learns Wide Guard. It's probably going to use Wide Guard. And if we would have thought that out, we probably would have won that last match. But we didn't. We didn't think it out. They wide guarded us and took us down. But they're going to go Chiyu. They're going to go Trapagos here. Um, I don't mind this, especially with a Tailwind Dragon energy. Seems pretty safe for us to just send, right? Obviously, Terra Shell is going to be a little bit of a problem. But I could still... I could honestly just Bleak Wind Storm. So how fast are you, Veggie Draco? Do we have to go Tailwind? That's the real question. Yeah, we're pretty much forced to go Tailwind. So I'm going to go Tailwind here, and honestly, let's just protect. I think we just protect here. And the reason I say protect is because of Terra Shell. I don't really want to deal with Terra Shell. They could combine boost, which could be a little bit annoying with the Terra Shell. But I'm fine with that. I mean, I can go for Bleak Wind Storm. I can Terrasalize next turn. We can kind of read out what they're doing here as well. And they're just going to Terrasalize themselves. They're going to go straight into Terrapagos. Nice little Terra. And honestly, I would love to get off a Tailwind and have them KO my Tornadoes. And then just put Kyogre, Reggie, Draco next to each other and just start sending the moves, right? So Protect comes out from our Reggie, Draco. We're just going to block some shots here. And we're going to set off a nice lovely Tailwind. And I'm kinda, uh, I kind of wish we would have just attacked here. Considering they just Terrasalized this turn and got rid of their Terra Shell ability. But honestly, I kind of want them to take out my Tornadoes. And of course, Tornadoes dodges attack, so it can't die now. And he goes for a Terra Star Storm. Okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. So out comes Terra Star Storm. I might just Terrasalize my Reggie Draco here. Yeah, if Heat Wave hit my Tornadoes, we would have just been thriving here. But I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm now. I am going to Terrasalize. Actually, no, we're not going to Terrasalize you. We're just going to send a Dragon Energy across the board. I feel like Chiyu's got to be Focus Ash. It just makes the most sense. But since Bleak Wind Storm is landing on both of them, we should be thriving here. Yep, Dragon Energy. This should be a double KO all day. Get them all in out of here. So, Reggie Draco, better than Terrap goes. That's a big time start for us in match number two. Come on, man. I told you, this is our bounce back game. This is our bounce back game. Come on, man. Terrap goes, get on out of here. Get on out of here. And honestly, what's called would have worked perfectly. Kai Ogre would have worked perfectly. But... I feel like that's why they led Terrapagos. Because if I would have led Kyogre, they could have just Terrasalized, got rid of the rain just like that. Would have been perfect for them. But they got Cornerstone, Ogre Pond, just like us. They're going to send them out alongside with Fluttermane. And this match is pretty much in our hands at this point. Right? You could Spike the Shield. You could. You are going to get a speed boost. But, I mean, I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm. Try to slow you down a little bit. And on top of that, I'm still just going to throw Dragon Energies around. Might as well. I could have Terrasalized into Steel if I wanted to, but I don't think I should waste my Terra. Ogre Pond's going to avoid that attack. That's okay. Can we get Speed Drop onto Fluttermane? We do not. We do not get it. They are going to start Speed Dropping us, and they're just going to KO our Tornadoes. So we have a few turns left in Tailwind. Um, now it's just a perfect time to bring out Kyogre. Try to wrap this match up. Dragon Energy's going to fly here. We can't KO Ogre Pond in one shot due to its ability sturdy, but it's soaking up regardless. Alright, and now comes Ivy Cudgel. Are you KOing me with that? I don't think so. Dude, you hit hard. He hits hard. So we got a few turns left in Tailwind. Um, I got my Kyogre ready to go. I got my Ogre Pond ready to go as well. And I can just follow me shots. I can just follow me Terrasalize get Water Spout, correct? Win the game? Yeah, right? Sounds really good. Sounds really good for us. How many turns left in Tailwind? One, they could protect and waste out the Tailwind, but then we would just do the same thing. So I'm just going to go for Follow Me. I'm going to hit that Terra button. We're going to go for that Water Spell, just for that big time damage. And this should just wrap up the match. I told you. It's your boy's bounce back game. It's my bounce back game, and I'm here to bounce back. We're bouncing back. We are bouncing back. So we put that Water Spell on top of Kyogre's head, getting that extra water damage. He's going to protect the Fluttermane. Waste out the last turn of Tailwind. Are you going to double down with Protects? That's the real question. 
You do. You double down, but I'm just gonna spam follow me, right? <clears throat> I'm just gonna spam follow me. I don't think my speed matters here. Because you can't one-shot Ogre Pond. You're probably gonna go for a Dazzling Gleam. Their Ogre Pond doesn't have any double-hitting moves to bypass to follow me. Yeah, it's game, set, match. That's game, set, match. Because even if you hit me with a Dazzling Gleam, you're not doing enough damage to where this Water Spout's not gonna KO you. Water Spout is doing an insane amount of damage here. So, we go for the follow me again. We go for the Water Spout, and this match should wrap up the game. Should wrap up the game. They're thinking about what they should do. They're definitely thinking, like, okay. Can I win this match? No. It's over. It's game, set, match. They end up going for a Moon Blast. That's fine. I got sturdy anyway. My special attack's gonna drop. Ogre Pond's gonna go for a Power Whip, and I'm dodging it anyway. I'm dodging anyway. Out comes the Water Spout. Full HP in the rain. Stab. Terra boost it. Get on out of here. We're one and one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Moving on to our last match. Going up against Miraidon and Clefairy, who I've been seeing across the rank ladder as recently. Clefairy is just a great support Pokemon. Usually rocking the Evo Light and just following me to help other Pokemon set up and get after the match. But um, furthermore, they got Grass Ogre Pond. We love good old Grass Ogre Pond with Urshifu. Tornadus, Incineroar for Fake Out, and like I already mentioned, Mir Rhydon as the restricted Pokemon. Now from here, they could go into their Fake Out user, which would be Incineroar. That is looking a little scary, but I could just go into like Indeedee and just have Terrain on the field. And Terrain could be good. Terrain could be good considering they do have Mir Rhydon and it could stop Incineroar's Fake Out. So for us, I think a decent lead could just be Reggie Draco and Tornadus and then bring Indeedee and have Kyogre in the back and I actually really like that. I actually really like having Indeedee here. Indeedee could come in clutch. We'll see. We'll see what they want to do here. I'm kind of hoping they go Miraidon and Incineroar and if that's the case, we are just going to hard swap Tornadus into Indeedee and then maybe just Terrasilize and go for a Dragon Energy. Just, just look, do some ridiculous amount of damage. Because I would love to just take terrain control from him. I would love to do that. Especially with Miraidon. Because Miraidon legit thrives off that terrain. If we can just get rid of it. And not have to deal with it. That could be big for us. That could be big. But we're 1-1. One one. This is our winning record game. Hopefully going to go 2-1. and one For today's video. And they're going to go Clefairy and Miraidon. Which is fine by me. It is fine by me. Now it's Clefairy. Fairy type. I always forget if they gave it or not. I always forget if they gave Clefairy the fairy type. And they did. It's straight fairy. So I want to go for dragon energy. I think I still am going to go for dragon energy. Just to look to do some damage onto me ride on. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, we're just going to hard swap get rid of this terrain. I'm not, I'm not, doing, I'm not doing the terrain. I'm not doing this whole terrain here. I'm going to swap in indeed here. I'll save my Tornadus to pair it with my Kyogre late game. And we'll just look to KO me ride on. Because if I can dragon energy this me ride on and just get rid of it. I think I forgot to translate my Reggie Draco. I'm going to be upset if I did. That is going to be very upsetting if I did. I really want to terrestrialize it. Did I not terrestrialize it? I don't I don't think I terrestrialize it. They're terrestrializing. They're going in the fairy type. This is brutal. This is bad news for us. No, you're going into electric. Okay, cool. Can you please tell me I terrestrialize my boy? Did I terrestrialize my Reggie Draco? I did. Okay, cool. I was going to say, I don't think I did. I, I think I forgot, but I wanted to. There we go. We're going to put a nice little Steel Terror on our head here. Um, it's funny how it's like sideways. It's so funny. I want to see what he wants to do here. So we got rid of his terrain, which is good. He's going to go for Helping Hand. Ooh. Helping Hand Electro Drift into who? Or Helping Hand Dash and Gleam. That's fine by me. Reggie Draco soaks pretty well. We can now go for H Dragon Energy. And how much damage is he going to do to me right now? Not as much as I wanted to. Definitely not as much as I wanted to. So from here, we're going to go for an Earth Power. Follow me could most likely happen here. And you know what? I'm just going to double down here. He might even swap me right on. He might even swap me right on. No, he's going to stick with the Follow Me. Or he's going to stick with the uh, Helping Hand. So he goes for Helping Hand. I could have went for Follow Me. He's going to go in with a Dazzle and Gleam. Which is fine by me. Because now I probably take out me right now, correct? Follow through Psychic. Can you finish him off? A little bit of Psychic action. 
Yeah, we'll take that. I thought Follow Me was going to come out there from Clefairy. I'm fine with that. Maybe he just assumed I was going for another Dragon Energy or something like that. So he was just like, oh, I might as well not go for Follow Me. But that's big time turns for us. Now they can't get Terrain Control for the rest of the match. Terrain is ours. Terrain is ours, and we still have Tornadus. We still have Kai Ogre in the back end. Let's see who else they got. So they're going to bring out Urshifu. Um, it's not a bad Follow Me turn. This is not a bad Follow Me turn. Do I still go for a Dragon Energy? Just to deal some damage on the Urshifu? Because I'm not really too worried about Clefairy. Clefairy seems like it's just going to go for Follow Me the rest of the game. So yeah, I'm just going to go Follow Me myself. And I'll go for a Dragon Energy. I know I'm lower on the HP side. But I'd rather get off some damage on the Urshifu than none. Because if I go for like Draco Meteor and he just Follow Me's, it's going to do nothing. And yeah. This is exactly why I want to go for Dragon Energy. So we go for Follow Me, they go for Follow Me, they end up going for a Surgeon Strikes. They now KO us. And they take some Rocky Helm with damage. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take some damage like that. I will definitely take some damage like that. So now Dragon Energy is going to fly. It's not going to affect the Fairy. And we actually like that damage. That damage is not bad. So now I can just go back. Or I can go into Tornadus finally. Pop a Tailwind. And all I have to do is get these Pokemon low enough. Where Kyogre can just water spout its way to victory in the Tailwind, right? That's exactly what we want. So we're going to go for a Dragon Energy here. We are going to pop the Tailwind. Make sure that we get that out and about. Honestly, I could have just went for a Bleak Wind Storm. And maybe just KO the Urshifu. But the Tailwind is the most important part of this match. So I'm going to set up the Tailwind. Helping Hand going to come out here from Clefairy. And I get to keep one of my Pokemon, which is good. I wonder who you're KOing. I would think Reggie Draco. I would think Reggie Draco, but... I would rather, actually, you KO the Reggie Draco. But Dragon Energy flies here. It actually KOs the Urshifu before it even has a shot. And we are sitting in a beautiful position now. A beautiful position. A lovely position. This Clefairy kind of just chilling here doing nothing. Just spamming helping hands following me. And the last Pokemon Sword out. So yeah, we kind of have this match on lock. For the most part. For the most part. We're going to go for another Dragon Energy. And we're just going to go for Bleakman Storm. Because the only Pokemon that can do damage is Tornadus. I'm not worrying about this little Clefairy. It's just here for support. It can't do much. See, it's just going to sit here and do, like, helping hand stuff. We already outspeed it. We honestly might KO it with Bleak Wind Storm and Dragon Energy. So we get a critical hit on Clefairy. Dragon Energy going to fly. And we're still doing nice damage. I still love the damage that we're doing. I still love the damage that we're doing. There's a helping hand, Bleak Wind Storm. And we're both soaking. No speed drops, hopefully. One speed drop. We still have Tailwind up, which is good. So we should still outspeed. Two speed drops? Come on now. That ain't right. Two speed drops? Two speed drops. Not cool. Not cool. Do we think it goes for another helping hand? Maybe. We're going to go for Bleak Wind Storm and Drake Meteor. Cool. So he's going to go for another helping hand. And Bleak Wind Storm is going to land. And it does not KO Tornadus. We could have went for another Dragon Energy. We probably should have. But Drake of Meteor is just going to finish off this match. Game over. This team is thriving. Told you, yo, we lost that first one. We came to bounce back. Match number two and match number three going to us. We love this Clefairy. I don't even think it has an attacking move. I doubt it. But we're just going to Earth Power away, Bleak Wind Storm away. And we didn't even have to use Kai Ogre in this third and final match. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Kai Ogre and Reggie Draco killing it in today's video. We paired it up with Tornadus, got that speed control, and then dropping big time water spouts and big time dragon energy. Seam was a lot of fun, especially with Ogre Pond and Indeedee in the back end. We didn't get to use Screamtail, but Screamtail is very situational for certain matches, so I feel like if we use this team maybe like 20 times, we would only bring Screamtail once. Like I said, very situational, has come in at the perfect moment. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.